when we were thinking about how we view Parkinson disease, it was kind of shocking to look online and find that if you type into a web browser, Parkinson disease image, still the most common image you see is this picture from 1886. In that old sketch, it's a man, he looks a kind of frail, he's hunched and he's shaky. And while that was a really helpful picture, it was part of how we learned about Parkinson and how we understand Parkinson disease, it doesn't really reflect what it's like to live with Parkinson disease today. So we knew that if we wanted to reimagine what a figure of Parkinson disease would look like, we wouldn't be able to capture all of Parkinson disease in one picture. It's just too diverse. But when we thought about it, we wanted to make sure that our image reflected both men and women, reflected people from different backgrounds, and then also reflected different experiences of the disease. So we show a woman who's young and healthy, who just has a few symptoms of Parkinson disease. We show a man who's a little bit older, who has more symptoms of Parkinson disease than the first picture. And then in the final picture, we do acknowledge that for some people, Parkinson's disease is a very devastating disease. And so we're hoping that by having a more diverse image, that might help medical professionals look for these milder cases and not just the severe one in that 1886 picture. I think getting a correct diagnosis of Parkinson's disease is important for a number of reasons. One, it's always just important to have an answer for what you have. So even though right now we don't have a cure for Parkinson's disease, it is really helpful to know, oh, this explains my symptoms. This brings it all together. And then getting the right diagnosis also connects people to the right treatments. We have many different kinds of medications now that can help the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. We know that exercise plays a large role in treating Parkinson's disease well. And for people with some more advanced forms of Parkinson's disease, there are surgical options that can be helpful.